Okay, so before we do a serious layout, we need to figure out the impedance um, that we want to operate this uh, amplifier at. We want to do 50 ohms. And so we're going to be doing a microstrip uh, design, which means we have to have a particular thickness of PC board and a particular width of trace. So here in KiCad, KiCad uh, we have something called calculator tools. And we have a whole bunch of things you can do here, regulators and vias, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I haven't really perused this. I should look through. Anyway, here is our transmission lines. We will have a microstrip design. Sorry, I just got done with, uh, with dinner. So um, we need to choose... FR4 for our dielectric constant. That's the default. Um, and these numbers, just don't worry about them. They'll fill in perfectly fine, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't, this is for really fine tuning stuff. Frequency one gigahertz. Let's set it to two gigahertz. Um, and physical parameters. So the width of the trace and the height of the PC board. So the height of the PC board is H. Where is H? H is here. Okay, H. Um, let me do inches because that's what I remember. Um, 0.032 inches. Okay, that's going to be the thickness of our um, board. And um, length. Um, you can just sort of pick some random number here. Our board's going to be pretty small. So let's say it's 20 millimeters of board length. Um, let's, let's make it 25. Let's, well, it's the board now. 20 is fine. Let's do 20. Okay. And then we can pick the width in millimeters or inches or mils. Let me do it in inches because that's what I'm familiar with. And we'll do 0 0.05, so that's 50 mils, 0 0.05 inches. And then um, we can hit Analyze. All right, Synthesize. How does Synthesize work? Maybe you can tell it I want a particular thing and it'll synthesize it? Hmm, I don't know. So 50, anyway, it's 54 ohms. We want 50 ohms. Will it synthesize? Oh, it does. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, I've never had a tool like this before. It, it goes backwards. So we want 50, 50 ohms. It tells us we should have a 50, let's say 59 mil trace analyze. That'll give us 49.977. That's pretty nice. Um, let's go to 60. That's a nice round number. Analyze. Or, yeah, okay, so let's go to 58. Nice round number. 58 is nice. And oh, 057. Oops. Oh, 057. 91. Huh. All right. Well, let's go to 50 synthesize again. Is that we need a 0 0.059. Okay, 0 0.059. Analyze. Yeah, so 0 0.059. That's what we want. All right, so when we go into our um, uh, so we're going to go into our board and we'll go into track clap. Uh, track classes, uh, we will add one. We're going to add a 0 0.059 inches. That should be our width of trace. Okay. All right. So the traces that matter are uh, these down here and not this one though. So let's, um, Let's just highlight these here. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these tracks. Okay. So 
over here in the selection filter at the bottom, uh, hit uh, all items and they'll all disappear. And then um, click tracks, okay? And now when you draw a big box, it's only selecting tracks. It's not selecting anything else. So we're gonna go here to tracks, and then we just hit delete. All the tracks are gone. And we go over here and all the tracks are gone. All right, let's get rid of this one too. Okay, and we left this little guy down here. So we are ready to go with our 59, uh, 59 mil track width. So we'll go here to layout and we will move over here. We'll move over and here to here and here to here. So we're done. So now we are impedance controlled. Um, when we, uh, oh no, wait a minute, I forgot one. There's a little line here, means you forgot one. Okay, good. So now we are 50 ohms everywhere. Should be good to go. Yeah, I like it. 